Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Carbonary Plus. Just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, give you guys a shop tour. Um, we've been in this building for uh, a little over three years and I did one of these when we first moved in. And uh, not a lot's changed, but a few things have changed and uh, just thought I'd give you guys an update. So we'll be taking this outside to start with. So one of the things I love about this place is how unassuming and modest looking it is from the road. Um, I also very much enjoy the proximity to my house, which you can see there on the right edge. And then over on the left, you can see our trailer parking and just out of the picture is my uh, work truck. All right, behind the first door is where we park the truck. And behind the second door brings us right into the shop. So all of our material will come in through this second door and either be loaded onto this mobile cart or it'll get brought into here. So we've got a nice plywood rack here and we've got just some basic wall brackets on the wall for our one by material. So this area back here is where you can see most of the cutting happens. Got our saw stop saw, which was a huge addition to our shop last year. Um, DeWalt miter saw, DeWalt planer, got dust collection, and just various scrap storage bins and whatnot. Um, secondary job site table saw. So we try to do most of the cutting back here. Um, right outside of that area is our router station. Got our router table, uh, handheld routers, router bit storage, and our workbench. Imagine most people's workbench looks about like that, just covered in junk. Uh, we've almost just given up on trying to keep it organized at this point. And here's our main work table. Got a couple outlets wired to it, and uh, we do majority of our work there um, secondary work table is basically an old desk that i made an extra top for and then usually keep a sheet of mdf or plywood on top just to make it even bigger but with that desk those drawers is where we store most of our sanding supplies so our sanders sandpaper um, all that gets stored in there and this corner is kind of uh Aside from the kids work workbench, um, just kind of a area that's never really gotten fully utilized. Um, so my trailers and truck are usually parked outside there. So I would like to add a door here. So that's part of the reason why I haven't really gotten this corner settled in yet. Cause I, at some point may have to rearrange a lot of this and get a, get a door in. Um, just to make it more convenient to get tools and things loaded out to the, the work truck and trailer. I um, also want to kind of show off the uh, the shelf there at the top. There's tons of storage up top there. I think it's 30 inches deep, 30 inches from the top of the shelf to the ceiling. Um, so, yeah, a lot of stuff stored up there. Um, a lot of that stuff, at least in this area, is our remodeling and the construction type um, supplies and tools. So uh, it's another reason why it'd be convenient to have that door right there in the front. So once things are cut and they're assembled and stuff here, so then this middle bay is kind of where we assemble and stage um, cabinets and whatnot. Um, these particular cabinets are ready to go into the paint room, which is where we'll head next. Okay, so our paint room here is uh, roughly 10 foot by 16 foot. Um, I've just got a basic three foot door on it. I mainly do that because if I can't get it through that door, I can't get it in somebody's home. So um, that's my thought process there. So um, basically got it very well lit, got a window to the outside, an exhaust fan, uh, 
usually enough room for most of our projects. Um, some of our bigger jobs, I've got to do it in stages. So uh, projects will come in the paint room and then they'll go right back out that door. And uh, ideally in the summertime or in the warmer months, the truck's not parked in here. So then that bay becomes um, where things get staged after they come out of paint. And then they'll go eventually out the door to go get installed. So, um, but when it's cold out, uh, the sh shop shrinks a little bit. Um, so anyhow, right through this side door of the paint room takes us out into the hallway. So this is the far back corner of the shop. We've got our dog kennel and just random stuff up there. Behind that wall is a little uh, bathroom stall. And then right outside the paint room, we got our sink our, uh, and our paint, we call it the paint hallway. Not really a room, but uh, so we got our sprayer, paint, like I said, the sink, and then paint and supplies the storage here. All right, so the last couple stops on our shop tour here is uh, our furnace. We've got a forced air system here. Um, it is one of the best things about this shop is having it conditioned. Um, and then my office here, my office is uh, pretty small and modest, but uh, I wasn't building an office, I was building a shop. So the office space had to get sacrificed a little bit. So the, uh, yeah, so there's a forced air unit there, a duct goes up. Actually, I'll go back to the office here, through the office wall. There's one vent coming out in the office, goes across the paint hallway and into the paint room. We'll go back into the paint room here, turn around. And then across the paint hallway or paint room ceiling, there's two more vents coming out. And that wall goes out um, basically over the, over the table saw. And that's where it ends with two more vents coming out. And uh, does a pretty good job. Um, keeping the shop at around 60 degrees, which is kind of what I like to work at. So, uh, but yeah, that's a, that was a huge upgrade we made last year. All right. So that pretty much wraps up the shop tour. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or want to want me to show more of a particular area. Uh, I'd be happy to try to help out. Thanks.